Hey guys, uh, welcome to this week's video. This is week one. I'm going to be moving up and down the whole time because I've got a door opening on my right hand side and I've got really heavy sunlight in the back. Um, so I might suddenly change colour from time to time. Forgive me for the quality of the video, forgive me for the quality of the sound. Um, the previous video that you've seen will probably explain to you uh, a little bit what this is all about, but I'm going to do a little introduction again. So first off, I'm going to tell you uh, who I am. Uh, my name is Duncan. Uh, I am 25 years old. Uh, I study at Haas University of Applied Sciences, where I do the study international food and agribusiness. The thing that I'm going to be working on, uh, which I said in my last video as well, is going to be uh, at a uh, company called Hemp Farm New Zealand Limited. Uh, there will be a link in the description below to the company. Check out their products. Great people, great prom uh, company, and yeah, great products as well. Uh, they've got a lot going on. It's a company which really is in flight to uh, well, become a big, big company, which is really, really cool. Um, and there's a lot of challenges ahead. And I hope to take part in helping with conquering these challenges and making them a success. Um, which obviously they already are, but to become an even bigger success than where they're at right now. Saturday, the 21st of July, and I flew with uh, Emirates and I flew from. Dusseldorf International Airport to Dubai, which was about an eight and a half hour flight, which was pretty doable, uh, pretty fun actually. I went into the airplane and there was a guy sitting on my seat who was having a bit of a discussion with the flight attendant, which was quite hilarious. And behind me was a child, so I sat down and thought, okay, I hope the child doesn't, you know, make too much noise. Uh, seconds later, a kid came walking down the line and I was like, oh please. Please walk on, please walk on, please walk on, because one kid behind me, okay, but a kid in front of me, that's, that's, that increases the percentage of risk of one of them crying throughout the flight for at least a decent 30 minutes to about 75%, and that's too high risk. <laughs> so I hope the kid walk on, walked on, but obviously he didn't, uh, but that was sort of, yeah, Murphy's Law, as they say. Um, and he actually sat down in front of me, so in that flight, the kid behind me, <laughs> kicked me the most of the flight and the kid in front of me cried the majority of the flight so that flight was a lot of fun um, but it was okay because the flight was relatively stable the pilots were very nice and communicative they actually I think they actually announced about four or five times what they're doing or how things were going so that was really nice they were very communicative and I think that's very important in a flight because a lot of people well no that's a little bit presumptuous to say that I uh, have some fear of flying and I think there are a couple of people out there as well and it's very nice when the person in the front who's in control of your life at that point in time make sure they communicate how things are going uh, especially when they're going well when they're not going well obviously it doesn't mind if you sort of stretch that a little bit until it's really not going well a lot of fun so that was flight number one then I had flight number two in uh, Dubai where I thought I was going to stay for a couple of hours as in eight plus hours so I could go out of the airport but I couldn't it was only three so I immediately took the next flight, which was 15 and a half hours from Dubai to Auckland. Now that was quite the punishment because eight hours is doable because it's just within that range of, ah, oh, it's okay if you don't sleep. And I really couldn't get a, a minute of steady sleep for more than, I don't know, well, not a minute. So I could get more than a minute, but I could get, a, I don't know, about an hour, hour and a half max. And then on that second flight, I uh, was also not able to sleep very well. Uh, luckily there were less kids, so that made a big difference. But we had a lot of turbulence and with fear of flying, that's never a very nice thing. So that's what happened in the flight. But yeah, then I arrived in Auckland, um, which was a lot of fun. Beautiful city. If you ever get the chance to go there, go there. Uh, in New Zealand in general, go there. It's a beautiful country. Been there once before and, and fell in love with the country. And uh, been here now for about one week, a little less. Oh, no, actually, uh, no, a little less. Next Monday it'll be a week. Um, and yeah, um, it's been a lot of fun so far. Um, so yeah, uh, Auckland, first night, yes. So on my first night uh, in Auckland, um, it was actually quite okay. The city was uh, windy. It was a little bit bleak, uh, as the Scottish say, which means that it was a little bit foggy and a little bit rainy. But it wasn't actually raining. It was just it had that sort of like that watery vibe, which in contrast to my friends and family back in the Netherlands is kind of nice because they had like a billion degrees out there. From what I've heard, it's been a living sauna and therefore also close to a living hell. That's what I was doing on the first night. Then on the second day when I woke up, I quickly had to pack all of my stuff and I had about 30 kilos of stuff with me and I went to a airport, a uh, bus station, sorry, in Auckland where I took an express bus from Auckland 
to uh, Turangi. So I had a really beautiful bus ride down. Nature around it was wonderful. The weather was good. The bus was nice. The bus did drive nice and fast through the hills, which is always nice because you get a little bit of that G-force when you're going down. I don't know if it's actually G-force, but it feels like G-force, uh, which was a lot of fun. Then I had a second night. Uh, first night I stayed in a hotel, which was nice and chic, which was a lot of fun, but it was very different in contrast to my second night where I stayed at a place called, literally called A Plus Samurai Lodge, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'll try to Google them and then put a link in the description about these guys as well, because uh, it's a really super basic place where a lot of, um, it had a sort of like a hippie vibe to it, but in a in a nice way and there was a lot of nice people there as well and it was actually quite funny and I had a really interesting debate with a French guy. Then I was picked up by Anne. I will pop up a little video here about the house as well in the meantime so you can see the house where I'm in. So Anne and she had her two dogs, uh, Charlie and Sophie, which was a lot of fun. <coughs> we went for a walk with them and then we had a really nice little pie. Now that's a uh, steak and kidney pie for those that are British know what steak and kidney pie is and for those that live in uh, places where a lot of British people live or where that food has been important they know what steak and kidney pie is for the people from the Netherlands steak and kidney pie is similar similar to a quiche it's like a little pie and then it's got something inside but often in this case it's got sort of a ragu inside um, so I'm going to quickly switch to Dutch it is zeg maar een soort van quiche waar ragu in zit uh, dus ik weet niet of je thuis het quiche hebt gehad maar zeggen eigenlijk een soort van hartig taartje maar dan net iets anders back to English um, so that's what I did on the second day here which was a lot of fun then went to the house which was a really nice ride down because Anne took me to the hills which was really cool yeah I was chilling out with Anne the most of the day in the evening we met or I met Dave obviously Anne met Dave way back when um and then on the first working day um uh, we sort of already had some chats about what where when and how with regards to the relations within the team how to deal with the stuff how to deal with the people so we had a nice couple of chats which was good fun and that was really interesting as well because it sort of gets you an idea of what where when and how although there is still a lot of learning to do there that's going to take a couple of weeks to get that all figured out um to get it all um harmonized synchronized and to find all the synergies and to also find the uh, the, the, the the frictional areas to make sure that that's minimized because um, that's really important to get that all hashed out as fast as you can, I think. We've actually got a hot pool, which is, which becomes hot because of the fact that it's actually heated by volcanic activity under the ground. Now, this seems like a joke, but it's very real. Um, and I jumped into that um, the other day, that together with Anand Day, which was a lot of fun. It's pretty warm, uh, but uh, it's good for you. It's good for you. It's, uh, it's, nice, uh, it's a nice way to get your body sort of uh, supple again when you've got muscles which have been... Uh, tightened up for a while it's a nice way to relax yourself uh, and they've also got the really the coolest little stream behind the house so I'm going to try and go over there in a second film that as well um, I also went to Taupo or as the Maori say I believe it's Taupo but I'm not exactly sure I'm not gonna don't quote me on that uh, well car shopping together with Dave which is always a lot of fun because you get to pick out new cars and that's kind of cool I think that's a lot of fun because you get to see all sorts of cars which is also immediately something I'm going to ask you guys if you have any experiences with SUVs uh, which are Jeeps and stuff like that and you have any experience with stuff that you like in bike for instance somebody out there is like oh yeah I've had experience with this Jeep and it was horrible or it was nice please let us know currently we're mainly looking at the brands if I'm not mistaken Hyundai, Toyota and Ford, those are the three brands that have sort of had uh, a Dave's eye to my knowledge. Um, so yeah, maybe that's something, if anybody has a tip, we've been having a lot of good food. Uh, most of the stuff here that we eat is organic because of the fact that there's still a lot of uh, chemicals that are allowed to be used here on the food. Uh, yeah, and the last thing is obviously this is, um, um, obviously I'm working for the, the company uh, Hemp Farm and it means that we're talking a lot about hemp, which is a lot of fun because it's a very interesting product and it's a very diverse product. Um, and yeah, maybe it's something you guys would be interested in investigating as well. Read a little bit about it, see if it interests you and make sure to check out the website. As I said at the beginning of it, I will link the website of the farm, uh, in the description down below. Um, and further, yeah, I've been enjoying the views out of the window because the views here are fantastic. And, uh, I hope you'll be enjoying a little bit more views this weekend when we go on a hike, if we're lucky, uh, if we've got time for that. Uh, whilst the wind is blowing around me, we should be able to 
get a quick stroll in later on. Uh, but first, yeah, got some stuff to do with filming and editing. Yes, so this was my week. Uh, this is what I've been doing. I'm really going to have to figure out how to say this in a more interesting way than I've done so far, because this is just me yapping at you. Uh, and I'll try to bring in some nice topics for next week. Uh, yeah, so bear with me whilst I practice on content, because, yeah, I thought this was fun, but I can imagine you guys thought it was horrible. So let me know how horrible it was on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, let me know, and then I'll try to get, uh, yeah, use the feedback and say what you guys would like to hear. But if uh, the majority liked it, um, I'll just leave it for what it is. Uh, if you didn't, please let me know as well. Be kind, otherwise I'll have to cry. Um, and that's about it for this week. I'll try to put some shots in, in the screen with some pictures and videos uh, with what I've been doing this week as well. So you'll sort of see that pop by in the background. So yeah, hope that's okay. Uh, until that time, thank you very much for watching. If you want to keep watching this every week, description, 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 what's it? No, subscription, sorry. Don't forget to subscribe, put on the bell button. I'll be popping out videos hopefully every Sunday latest. Might be Saturday if I've got time to edit early. Thank you very much. See you later. Ciao. Come along and see us